Westside. Uh, I am Miss Worst. I'm not Mr. Roberts, but he couldn't be with us today, so I am filling in uh, with a few announcements. Not many announcements um, for this week. One thing is, um, seniors, we are putting together a senior slideshow, and we need your pictures. These can be pictures, not necessarily baby pictures, but maybe pictures of you and some of these kids who have gone to school together for a while, um, and then, of course, recent pictures. Um, these are due the Monday after prom, so I think that's May the 4th. We did that on purpose, so if you have some prom pictures you want to get in, definitely send those to us. You can email it to me, bestworst at anderson5.net, or you can bring it by room 310, uh, and we can scan those pictures in if you have actual pictures. So don't forget that. Um, the slideshow will be presented May 18th when we um, distribute yearbooks and uh, have your senior cookout, so that will be a fun day. Um, also this year, uh, this week, prom tickets go on sale um, Thursday, Friday, and Monday. So make sure that you have your money ready and um, pick those up during lunch. Don't forget that um, Miss Westside is this Saturday night, so make sure you get your tickets Later for on that. in the show, we are going to surprise some teachers with their teacher superlatives. And seniors, you voted on these. So I hope you enjoy that segment. I did want to give a shout out here to Ms. Isengard, who won hardest class to pass. Ms. Isengard isn't here and isn't going to be here for a few days. Wanted to make sure that we recognized her and we'll definitely give her the certificate when she gets back. One more announcement, guys. Um, for, this is for seniors. Seniors, if you have not filled out one of these sheets, we're working on getting four people every week. Um, for seniors, where are you taking your talents? This is just a sheet telling us where you're going to school next year. So make sure you pick one up from Ms. Seal's office, drop it off in my room or put it in my box in the office, and we'll make sure we get you on the show. I think that's all for this week, Westside. I hope we have a great week, and hope you have a great weekend. Go Rams. Our Ram Proud winners for this week are Sandin Blue Arm, Shataya Webb, Malik Ford, Jared Pearson, Jaden Wright, and Jeremiah Isom. Congrats, guys. Hello, Westside. We're here with Hayden Sears. He just signed to Erskine College to play baseball. So, Hayden, how do you feel about signing today? Uh, I'm, I'm real excited about it. Uh, I was a little nervous, but uh, I'm really happy with it. Okay. So, uh, what are your goals for Erskine next year? Um, really, I just want to be able to go out there and contribute to the team as much as I can and uh, uh, achieve a lot academically. All right. Well, you heard it here at Westside. We're rooting on Hayden at Erskine. Go Rams. Westside, we're here with uh, Coach Holbrook here. So, uh, Coach Holbrook, I know student government election should be coming up soon, so who's going to take my spot? Well, that's that's a good question. You know, the school year's winding down, and we got to get our officers for next year. So we're going to start taking applications. And if you want to run for any student government position for next school year, you come by my room, 209, or you can pick an application up in the front office with Ms. Foggy. Also, we're going to have a mandatory interest meeting. Anyone interested in student government, this Friday, immediately after school. Okay. So you heard it here, Westside. We need some leaders to step up and student government. That's right. So come up and uh, get an application yeah. from Coach Holbrook. That's right. Go around. Good morning, Westside. We are on location in the English building here with Kaylin Hippler. Um, Kaylin was the recipient of a $500 scholarship. So, Kaylin, I just wanted to let you tell the school a little bit about your scholarship, what you won, and where you're planning on going for college. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. 
I am the 2015 Anderson Soil and Water Conservation District winner, and I plan to use that money to go to Clemson University to go into their pre-vet program and in order to become a bilingual small animal surgical veterinarian. Wow, well that sounds amazing. So congratulations, and we're happy to have you on the show. Good to hear that you're going to do big things next year. I know Westside will be very proud of Kaylin. So uh, you heard it here, and go right in the ninth grade academy. It was one of our ninth grade science teachers, Mr. Lee, and one of our tenth grade students, Lyric Davis. These guys participated in a really cool event this weekend called TEDx. So um, I'm going to let them talk a little bit about how they got to go and what they did, what they saw, and then some fun things probably coming up for next year where we can go to this conference again. The TEDx Youth Conference is basically a TEDx talk for the, any high schools that were accepted. And this year, we were South Carolina was accepted, so any school from South Carolina could have went. It was on a Saturday, so besides us waking up feeling like we were going to school that Saturday, we made it all the way to Columbia by bus with Mr. Lee and Ms. Ryder and a couple other students who went. And we sat there in the USD's room and we listened to many speakers talk to us about Sorry, many, off, many different things. Mr. Lee? A lot of the speakers talked about um, their experiences in life. A lot of them are high school students that actually got up and spoke and talked about current events. Um, there was an exchange student who came and did the entire talk in her in her foreign language, which was actually English, um, which was really brave of her. and It talked about stepping outside of your boundaries, outside of your comfort zone. Um, it also talked about how to, how to think outside the box and come up with great and creative ideas. It was a very motivational and inspirational type day um, with different groups of, of speakers that had different themes during their, their talks. Um, and there, there was break sessions, there was food, there was t-shirts. Um, it was a really, really good time and it was a really, really good message that they, they sent across. All right, guys. Well, that sounds like a fun time, and I'm glad you all got to go and represent Westside. Uh, Westside, you heard it here. Go Rams. Miss McGee, congratulations. You got most sarcastic. So how do you feel about this award? Really? <laughs> okay, there we go. Thank you. Miss Jones, congratulations. You got... Biggest ID buster. Oh, and where is your ID, by the way? <laughs> Put it on. You know better than that. Uh -huh. Hey, Miss Blowdown, congrats. You got most organized. Thank you. So, keep everything neat and organized. It's not looking very organized. It's good. It's good. Hey, Miss Burton. Hey, KG. You got friendly. Oh, thank you. You so look pretty much. friendly when you greet me just now. I am so friendly. She's always so friendly. Friendly hug. Thank you. Hey, Miss James. Hey, KG. You got most likely to be smiling and look. She's smiling right oh, now. Oh, 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 thank you. You got most caring. Do you care about this award? I do. Okay. 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 Hello, Coach Holland. You got most school spirit. Woo! Team America, let's do it! <laughs> How much do you love Wissa? Uh, too much. Okay. Too much. Okay, hey, Gus. Could you uh, tell me what the teacher is? Oh, 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 Miss Moore, here you go. You got most likely to be mistaken for a student. <laughs> wow. Woo! on the bridge. Hello. Hey, Okay, Miss Usri, you got most intellectual. Oh, okay. So, could you give us a fact about something really nice? No. Uh, <laughs> he just caught me right off the top. Okay, it doesn't matter. You know she's smart. Really smart. Alright, well I appreciate that so yes, much. Thank you. I'll shake your hand. <laughs> yes, sir. Alright. Hey, Coach B. You got unforgettable. I'm pretty sure I, I didn't have you, but I won't forget you too. You won't? No, I won't. You promise. I promise. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Unforgettable. <laughs> that could be good or bad. Yeah. That's like that. So I can take it as bad. Yeah. Most turn, most quotable, it fits well. Could you give us a quote, turn? Uh, could I give you a quote? Yeah, real fast. Most people, or excuse me, great people, make monuments out of the stones their critics throw. We heard that one. There we go, turn. Phillips, you got best advice giver. So I just fell in the hall, give me some advice. I'm the best advice giver? Yes. 
That's good. Okay. <laughs> you know, what do you need advice? Uh, don't take any wooden nickels. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it. All right. Thank you. Hey. All right. Hey, Mr. Comstock, congratulations, you got most talented. Oh, yes! So, could you, like, showcase a little bit of your talent right now? Uh, with uh, air guitar? Yeah, sure, go ahead, go ahead, uh, do what you do. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Mississippi Queen! <laughs> most talented. It's like, it's like Guitar Hero stuff, okay. you know what I mean? <laughs> Miss Strickland, congratulations, you got best dress. You look... Well dressed right now, like you always do. So keep it up. I like the way you dress. Thank you, <laughs> Miss Cook. Congratulations, you got most likely to give homework. Oh, yes. 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 I got homework. I ain't 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 got homework. I got homework. I ain't 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 got homework. Shot. Yeah, but he's not talking that much right now. So hey. I'm, I'm speechless, man. <laughs> for the first time, obviously. <laughs> Good guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, like, hey, Miss Worst. Like Congratulations hey, on getting best all around. Thank you. I heard you can juggle while singing. Is that true? Oh, that is not true. Well, we'd like to see it anyway, but too bad we don't have anything to Congrats, Miss Worst. Thank you, Coach Riley. You won most humorous. Congratulations. Oh, well, thank you very much. You have I appreciate points. it. No, I used to, I got most attractive one time, but apparently that, that ship is the truth. <laughs> now, it's a long time ago, but that ship has sailed, apparently. But I thank you very much. Appreciate it. Coach Cunningham. Yes, sir. You are a tall to coach drop for most athletic. How does that make you feel? I want to be the most athletic. Well, stay tuned on Friday from 3 and S to find out who truly is the most athletic. Coach Rock, congratulations. You tied with Coach Cottingham for Most Athletic. How does that make you oh, feel? Oh, I feel great. I appreciate it. But, you know, Coach, I don't see how I'm tied with it because we all know that I'm more athletic than Coach Cottingham. Well, but, uh, I guess we'll find out on Friday. Tune in to 3 and S, and uh, we'll uh, see the competition that's going to play out. All right. Tune in to 3 and S, see the competition. Won't be much of a competition, but I appreciate it. Thank yes, you all sir. very much. Thank you. Hello, Westside. Yeah. We're here on the Curry Roberts Show. We're here with Coach Earl. Coach Earl, I'm getting excited because it's football season again, and I know y'all are working real hard. But we got some very exciting things that have been a part of Westside High School with our weight room. Can you talk to us a little bit about the new weight room and what kind of benefits it'll make for all our student and athletes? First of all, we'd like to thank all the people for voting yes on the penny sales tax because that made it all possible. But today's our first day in the new weight room. It's a state-of-the-art facility, uh, probably one of the nicest in the country. Uh, and this is actually going to be our temporary home for about 16 months while we're building the new facility. But it's, but it's an awesome facility, just like it is now. Um, we've got a few more things that has to come in in the next couple of weeks, but uh, we're close to, to wrapping it up, and the kids are in there working hard right now. Well, Westside, we'll probably take a little tour. You'll see our student athletes working real hard. Uh, but about how many kids will be affected by our facility? I know we got a lot of student athletes. Approximately 600. Wow. Uh, when you add everybody and, you know, we got our female class during third block. And hopefully this will create some excitement in the school. We'll have more people that want to come out and participate in athletics and have the, you know, the total process of what going to high school should be, being in clubs and, and athletics and academics. That's great. You heard Hill West Side. Go Rams. I am Macy Williams from Miss McGee's first block film studies class. This week's motivational clip is about a small horse that does great things. It is not about size, but about heart. I just think this horse has a lot of heart. He may have been down, but he wasn't out. He may have lost a few, but he didn't let it get to him. I think we can all learn a lick or two from this little guy. Oh, and by the way, he doesn't know he's little. He thinks he's the biggest horse out there. So you got big plans for this little horse? Oh, yeah. See, sometimes when the little guy, he doesn't know he's a little guy, he can do great big things. See, this isn't the finish line. The future is the finish line. And the biscuit is just the horse to get us there. Just the horse to get us there. You certainly made a believer out of me, Mr. Howard. It's time for this old tout to eat some crow. Four and twenty blackbirds, to be exact, all baked up in some humble pie. And I'll take mine a la mode. Oh, and one more thing, Mr. Howard. I just want to say thanks for the champagne. Don't mention it. Now, did you see the infield? No, not yet. Take a look. Your little horse is selling out the cheap seats. Oh my gosh. Hey, what do you think about all those folks?
to the infield, Red. That's who we're riding for, folks with a quarter in their pocket. Red, 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 Red,